how does a system work? Any system like astrology, how does it work? It work upon the basics. It work upon the basics of the system. The problem with astrology is that we try to remember a lot of formulas and a lot of principles. But more important than remembrance is understanding. We should understand how the things, the results told for planets are derived. Now this derivation, how this is done? This is done based on tattvas or elements, whatever you call. Not only this. In fact, sun signifies father, sun signifies soul, moon signifies mother, moon signifies mind. How do we know these things? Moon signifies mind. This comes from Vedas. Chandrama Manasojata. But moon signifies mother. What does mind and mother have a connection with? And then many, many other significations. Some of these significations are found based on astrological formulas. For example, moon gives fluctuation. Why? Because moon is very fast moving. That is there. But many other principles, many other things related to moon, many other traits and attributes of moon, how they are decided. Of course, they are decided by our sages after looking at thousands of horoscopes, lakhs of horoscopes, crores of horoscopes, millions of horoscopes, whatever you say. But ultimately, there have to be some base, basic element in astrology. And these basic elements are there. What I, and what I have understood what is my understanding that there are some very very basic things of creation and philosophy one of that is tattwa and based on the invention research of our sages they have found that planets signify or represent particular tattvas and once they have attached the tattva signification to planets making the next step becomes very easy for us, knowing about the tattva helps us a lot in our predictions primarily. Secondarily, it takes us from the level of remembering to understanding. Simply put, there are three types of tattvas. Right? Three types of element. And right now, in the form of element, I am talking of gunas, basic elements. Right? Gunas are of three types. Sattva guna, Rajas guna and Tamas guna. Let's understand what it is. Sattva gun is balance. Sattva gun simply put is following the dharma, righteousness. Whatever is right to be done doing that is sattva. Other than that, only eating food for the purpose of fulfilling the stomach, not being attached with food is also quality of sattva. The reward with sattva is once you engage with sattva because you are following dharma also. Right? You get blessed by gods. Sattva represents blessing of God. Rajas is the desire. Desire of same denominator. Rajas is I give you something, you give me something. As it happens in business, I give you a product, you give me money. This is also in day-to-day -day life. I respect you, you respect me, I love you, you love me, I support you, you support me. All these human relationships are generally based on rajas. Rajas is desire. Desire to get things, desire to do things, desire engagement. And the motivation to do any activity for the sake of reward is rajas. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has clearly said to Arjun that you do the karma, don't get attached to the result of it. He is saying that one should not be very much attached to rajas. Tamas, on the other hand, is very negative. Tamas is the place where one is wanting but is not willing to give. This is things such as theft, cheating and all of these things where you don't want to do hard work to earn money but want to cheat people. It is like a criminal is standing in front of you who is telling you, give me money, otherwise I will kill you. Now he have done nothing good to get money. Instead, he is threatening you of taking life, a life which is not his own. Whether you should live or not, he is not the one to decide. 
but still because he is having a weapon in his hand, he is going to decide that this is Tamas. The thing with Tamas is, the bad point with Tamas is, Tamas never lets you progress. Tamas takes your soul down and from human, it takes you down to the level of animal. That's the problem with Tamas. The problem with Rajas is binding with the karma result chain. It binds you to the life where the person does something only for the reward and when the rewards are lessened, when the rewards are less, person find himself disinterested in doing that. Right? This leads to things such as depression and all of these things. Simply put, Sattva is balance and following of Dharma. Rajas is desire and enjoyment. Tamas is negativity and ignorance, where the person is completely ignorant about what I should do, whether it is right or not. About these things, the person is completely ignorant. Sattva in astrology is represented by Sun, Moon and Jupiter and also by their signs Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius and Pisces. Rajas is indicated by Mercury, Venus and their signs Gemini, Libra, Taurus and Virgo. Tamas is indicated by Mars and Saturn, Rahu also, and their science Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio indicated, indicates Tamas. Now in Vedic astrology, things are very, very simple. These are used for three, four things. Primarily, it is told that as per the most powerful planet of the horoscope, the nature of the person should be decided whether the person is Tamasic whether the person is Rajasik, whether the person is Satvik. Take a note. It is dependent on the most powerful planet of the horoscope, not dependent on who is influencing the ascendant. Such fine demarcation is there everywhere in astrology and the only thing that stops us from learning good astrology is not paying attention to these things. This is the basic nature of the person. Someone who is having Mars or Saturn or Rahu as the most powerful planet of their horoscope, they will be ignorant. They will have Tamas. What does it mean? See, by the saying of Krishna that Arjun, you do the work but don't worry about the result, he is saying that you attach yourself with Sattva. And the specific quality of Sattva is once you start Having Sattva in your life, Rajas and Tamas already starts decreasing. And as you start leading a Sattvic life, emancipation, salvation is assured for sure. Right. Another point what is told that as per the Dasha Antra Dasha Lord, the nature of the person also changes accordingly. This is used for Dasha Antra Dasha rectification also. This is used for prediction also. For an example, you say when someone is going through the Shantar, the Shah of Rahu, Mars, Saturn, at that point of time, the person can be ignorant. Ignorant as in this particular scenario that he may do anything without thinking of consequences. This is what is ignorance. In the case of Sattva, see talking of finances, in the case of Sattva, you believe that I am only worthy of this much I should only get this much amount as per my hard work. So only this much I will take. Rajas is a little bit of compromise also. Rajas is more like that, okay, this is the money that I should take as per the normal pay scale. But because I will do it quickly for you, I will do it faster for you, I will do it urgently for you, you should pay me a little bit more also. Tamas on the other hand, Tamas is completely ignorant of what I am giving to person. And charging money which is not worthy. They're charging too much money, completely being ignorant of what are the consequences, etc. So when one is going through the antardasha of planets like Rahu, Mars, Saturn, there is a tendency that the person can be ignorant about multiple things. He can commit karma in his life and can be ignorant about what will be the result and what will be the consequences. This is generally the time when you commit a crime, when you commit those bad things which shakes your life later on. For this particular reason, if you see, both the planets which indicate Tamas are malefics. All the planets which indicate Tamas, the third one Rahu also is malefic. 
right? Because when you become ignorant and do things born out of ignorance, ultimately it leads you into problem, right? This is for this particular reason. What is the note to take that you remain careful? That you remain careful in such dasha antar dashas and whenever the dasha of Mars, Saturn or Rahu is going on, you became double careful about what you are doing, what will be the consequences, what will be the result. Think multiple times over it before doing or committing anything. But what is not told by any Rishi? Why it is not told by Rishi? Because it is simply understood. It is told up to this extent, so this is very easy to understand, but still sometimes people don't understand it. So let me add it to you. There are 12 houses in horoscope. Whenever you want to analyze a particular thing, you first find which house it is related to. You want to talk, analyze intelligence, you go to fifth house, you want to analyze about marriage, you go to seventh house, so on and so forth. You see the planet there and you give the result. You tell the result what is going to happen. Now, when you see planet, you don't see the gun of the planet, Satgun, Rajas Gun, or Tamas Gun. What it does, it gives weakness in prediction. You cannot predict things as they should be predicted. For a particular example, you see, if someone is having Satvic planet, Moon, Sun, Jupiter influencing the fifth house, what will happen? The person will only talk about the things he know about. Right? He will only talk about things he know about. He will only talk about the experience that he have realized. Ramakrishna Paramahans in his horoscope is having Mars in the, sorry, Jupiter in the fifth house. Right? So Vivekananda went to everyone. Do you, have you seen God? Can you make me see God? He went to everyone. No one could say that we have seen it. He had been to some institutions also. He had been visiting the institutions also in the search of God, but he could not find it. Because there what is happening, people are talking about spirituality, but they have not realized it. Ultimately, he goes to Ramakrishna Paramhans and he is a very realized person. Right? Sattva planet is influencing the fifth house. He is a realized person. Whatever he is talking about, he knows what he is talking about. He is only talking of experience. He is only talking of reality. He is only talking of Sattva. Right? Experience is there. He is only talking what he has experienced. On the other hand, when it is Rajas, in the case of Rajas, Mercury, Venus influencing the fifth house, in this scenario what happens? Person have knowledge of one subject proper, but he automatically starts thinking that I am the master of other subject also. Right? For this other subject, either he have inadequate or very less knowledge. But because he thinks that I know about this topic also, I will know about other topic also. This is just like you say a lawyer who knows very good about very much about law starts thinking that I can do the work of a policeman also because I know about law. Here he is being very optimistic that he can do the work of the police also. He thinks that the police, the work of the police is only to know about the law. There are some more knowledge, there is more knowledge that is needed for the policeman also, but he is ignorant of that. This is what happens with Rajas. In the case of Tamas, because Tamas is ignorance, in the case of Tamas, you say Mars, Saturn, Rahu influencing the fifth house. In the case of Tamas, it becomes very, very bad. In the case of Tamas, what happens? Person is not having a knowledge, but he is faking it. Person have not realized anything, but he is faking it lie, tall claims, talking of things which one do not know about is there when tamas comes into play. So there are many people you see day in and day out we see stories how someone have cheated someone else. Yeah, this is increasing in Kaliyuga nowadays so it is very very increasing. People are cheating others. This cheating showing that I know it where the person is not knowing it be it any field Telling that I have expertise in this subject, but not having any actual expertise in this particular subject is a result of Mars, Saturn, Rahu influencing the fifth house. What happens in this particular scenario? See, ignorance is very big. So the person is faking about a knowledge, person is faking about, you say there is a spiritual guru who is having this particular combination. 
now he thinks that only i know three four stories from the veda and puran ved and puran from ved and puran i know only three four stories and because i know that i know dharma also so first of all he is being ignorant as a result of that what will happen when he will start talking about religion people will come to him people will start to get people will want to get initiated from him people will want to have advice from him but he is not having knowledge but still because it is tamas and tamas is ignorance he will not realize this particular point that i am not having the knowledge and instead just using the scanty knowledge that he is having he will start guiding people being completely unaware that because i don't have the knowledge that is born out of experience i am actually misguiding people i am wasting their precious time and resources and at and one day these people will feel cheated even if they don't feel themselves what i am doing is cheating he will never realize that so in such a manner such person is very detrimental to the society very detrimental to the world on the other hand if it was a rajasic planet the person talks about dharma and religion only after reading few of ved and puran he will continue talking about it but if someone comes to him for guidance or mantra etc he will say that no i i do not give mantras i do not give personal advice i only talk i only tell people the stories of the vedas and puranas and that's all here what is happening though he have not read all of it but still he is posing himself as expert okay but he knows his limit in the case of satvik planet what will happen that the person will only talk about what he knows and what he do not talk about what he does not know about he will not talk about it. take the same with respect to the seventh house you see moon in the seventh house i say it is very bad it gives multiple affair to people sun in the seventh house is a sure shot combination for discord in marriage but is it always if you if you see those dedicated and devoted people who have got married once somehow unfortunately their marital life did not went to well well the life partner died or separated etc for the remaining part of life they don't go into relationship they don't marry again but remain dedicated to the same life partner except the fact that it is not for us but they don't show they don't show degradation in their character which are these people these are the same people with moon sun or jupiter influencing the seventh house because they are satvic planets but there is one very important thing if there is more than one type of planet influencing the influencing a particular house then quality of both the planets will come the prime quality will be of the most powerful planet but as per dasha antar dasha the quality of the other planet will also come for an example let me tell you suppose if only moon only jupiter or only sun is influencing the seventh house in this particular scenario person is having quality of satva because he is having quality of satva his dharma in marriage he will follow because he will follow dharma in marriage loving the life partner caring about the life partner right giving respect to the life partner etc all of these things they will do and because they are following dharma properly if somehow they get divorced or the life partner dies in that particular scenario they don't marry again but remain dedicated to the life partner only if they have a child from marriage they remain dedicated to the child only that's all on the other hand you say there is <clears throat> venus also influencing the seventh house in that particular scenario what will happen because of the influence of venus because of the influence of venus you see there is jupiter influencing the seventh house venus influencing the seventh house venus is power jupiter is more powerful not venus venus is secondary most powerful now because of jupiter he will love the life partner respect the life partner do all his dharma whatever he should do as a life partner right but when dasha antar dasha of venus will come now because the second planet is also influencing rajas will come into play and at this point of time the person can have a lot of desire and at this point of time the person can go into affairs etc right or at this point of time the person right will forget his path will not show the trait of satva but will start showing the trait of rajas on the other hand in the same combination you say venus is 
influencing the seventh house. Jupiter is also influencing the seventh house. Sun is influencing the seventh house. This is take another sub two planet. Sun is influencing the seventh house. Venus is more powerful. So because Venus is more powerful, Venus is a Rasi planet. And multiple relationships will be there. Right, but sun as indicator of sattva is also there. By the time the shantar, the shock sun will be there. Person will show sattva qualities. But as soon as the shantar, the shock sun will be over, his rajasic tendencies will come again. So in the matter of marriage, one thing we understand very sure, but that when Venus Mercury are connected with the seventh house, it gives rajas. Rajas is desire. Person wants more and more. Person never becomes satisfied. In this particular scenario, when Venus and Mercury are connected to the seventh house, what is happening? Person is wanting more and more love from the life partner, more and more sexuality is there in marital life, lot of passion is there. And at one point of time, person can get bored from their life partner and co can go into another relationship also. This is pure Rajas. If it is Venus plus Jupiter, then some Sattva is also there. Venus plus Moon, Venus plus Sun is there, then Sattva is also there. In this particular scenario, the person will be very desirous. He will want a lot of sexuality, a lot of romance in marriage. But if he is not getting it, he will not go into other relationships because Sattva is also there. In that particular scenario, he will continue to follow his dharma. However, his behavior, because he is basically a Ratsik person, his behavior will change. And the love, care, affection, etc. that he was showing for his life partner before, he will not show it after that. Right? On the other hand, when Tamsik planet, Mars Rahu, uh, uh, Mars Rahu and uh, this uh, the Saturn are connected to the seventh house. In this particular scenario, person is Tamsik. In this case, what? In this case, you see tendency that the work of the wife is to remain at home. Woman should not speak in the matters of men. They have such particular tendency. Here, what is happening? The person himself will have affairs but will want a life partner who is only dedicated and devoted to him. Person himself will have multiple, multiple affairs before and after marriage, but will want a virgin life partner. Such tendencies are there. Thomas is also ignorance. And when this Thomasic planets influence the seventh house in that particular scenario, competition, jealousy with life partner, beating the life partner, abusing the life partner, disrespecting the life partner, because Thomas is just opposite the Sattva is there in marriage, comes in marriage. Right? So this is with respect to the seventh house also. Sattva influencing on sattva influence on the seventh house, person follows all his dharma related to marriage. Right? Does everything for marriage, whatever is needed for marriage, he does. And in this need, it's not like sattva person will not have sexuality. Of course, he will have sexuality. Right? Because sexuality is also dharma of marriage. But there will be limited uh, sexuality. Love, care, affection, all of these things will be there. In the case of Rajas, what will happen? Love, care, affection will also be there. But this love will be to the level of attachment. Lot of attachment and things such as sexuality, romance will be too much. So more than respect, there will be romance. In the Sattva case, romance and respect is equal. In the Rajas case, romance is more, respect is not there. Respect is less, romance is more. In the case of Tamas, it is complete ignorance, anger, aggression, fighting, competition, jealousy. These things are there. And in the case of Tamas, because ignorance is there and because Tamas have the tendency of doing bad, in such scenario, person is like, I will do affairs because I am a male or I will do these things, I will do that things and will not think that my life partner is equivalent if I am having affair. She can or he can also have affair. They will not think this way. They will feel that I am entitled for it. I will do it. But the other person should not do it. But rather instead should live as my servant etc. In the same manner, influence can be read on any house. For example, 10th house only influenced by Satvic planet. Person is generally in a profession which is related to following of dharma such as in police, government, etc., where the duty of the person is to implement dharma in the society. Rajasic planet, when they influence the 10th house, then the person is generally into business. Right? Or where you are dealing with, I will give something, I will take something. 
Tamas, on the other hand, generally indicates profession related to ignorance. This indicates professions such as lawyer, etc., where you are not much concerned about what is the reality, but your work is to defend your client. In this manner, the influence of planets over all the 12 houses should be read with respect to Sattu, Rajas and Tamas quality of the planet. And prediction should be made. What will happen with this particular technique? First of all, many results that our sages have written, you will understand why they have written in a particular way. Why the Rishi is saying that if sun is connected to the fifth house, one may not have children at all because sun is first of all a malefic planet, secondarily he is sattvic. So this person will have few children or until and unless he find himself that I am ready to have a child, I will become a good father. He will not want to have a child because then he will not be able to fulfill the dharma as a father. Right? So understanding what sages have predicted, why it have predicted with, will improve. Not only this, you will save yourself from the hard work of remembering all the results that our sages have told because now you are understanding it and now you can make an number of results that you want. Lastly, not only this, what generally happens, there is a particular planet in the seventh house from that planet, you predict that there will be multiple relationships. There will be affairs of this person. He will engage into multiple relationships. But why he will engage into multiple relationships? Is it because of the life partner or the fault lies in the person itself? This you cannot say. What I will say? This you cannot say. But if you use the Sattva, Rajas and Tamas quality, you will understand why it is happening. In the case of Rajas, Right, the person is cheating because his desire have increased. In the case of Tamas, the person is cheating because of revenge, because he feels that he is entitled for that. This I refer as your, your prediction will become more advanced. You will learn, you will know astrology more deeply. Your prediction will be more holistic. And for your own horoscope, you should see where the malefic, where the tamasic planets are influencing. And with respect to those houses, you should understand that there can be a lot of ignorance. So make sure whatever you do related to those houses, you think about the consequences and whether it is right according to dharma or not multiple times before doing it. The house where Rajasic planets are influencing, where Rajasic planets are situated in related to that house, whenever you do things, you make sure that this doing, this karma does not become an attachment for you. You make sure that you are not too much clinged to the result of this particular house. This way, what you will do, you will keep and check over Rajas and Tamas. Right? As you keep check over Rajas and Tamas, Sattva will increase and the ultimate result of Sattva, that is emancipation, getting the blessing of God. These things will happen. Your soul will progress in the right direction and your life will become better. Right? I hope you will use this knowledge for your good.